S-H-O-U-G-H-T-A-N-D-S-I-R-E-L-E-M-E-N-T-A-L-S-889-89 Annunciator The tiny leaves which compose that substance are forced through the energy of the seeker into forms which are themselves active, vitalized and powerful. Hawkman gives his eager like beneficent or a maleficent creation according to the underlying desire, motive, or purpose. It is essential that we endeavor to make practical what is here to be imparted, as it is useless for men to study the groups of lesser builders, their functions and their names, unless he realizes that with many of them he has an intimate connection. He himself one of the great builders, and a creator within the planetary scheme. Men should remember that through the power of their thoughts and their spoken words, they definitely produce effects upon other human beings functioning on the three plane of human evolution and upon the entire animal kingdom. The separative and maleficent sets of men are largely responsible for the savage nature of wild beasts and the destructive quality of some of nature's processes, including certain phenomena, such as plague and famine. It is of no value to men to know the names of some of the army of the ones unless he comprehends his relationship to that army, unless he apprehends the responsibility which is his to be a beneficent creator, working under the law of love and not impelled to the creative act through selfish desire or uncontrolled activity. B. Physical plane elementals It should be remembered that the devils we have been considering are the originators of impulse and the manipulators of energy in their own degree and on their own plane. In connection with them are to be found, therefore, the recipients of force, or the multitude of lives of an elemental nature which form the sum total of the matter of a plane. These are certain waves of energy, through the impulse of the breath, and as the result of Pajoling A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E Vibratory action into all forms as we know them on the physical plane. Therefore, in connection with manifestation on the physical plane, the devils may be divided into three groups. E. The transmitters of the will of God, the originators of activity in demon substance. These are the greater beings in their various groups. R. The manipulators of the initiated energy. These are the myriads of workers with force who transmit the impulse in their turn to the elemental essence. They are the builders of lesser degree, but are on the evolutionary arc as are the first group.
Send the recipients of loss the sum total of the living substance of a claim. This leaves our passive in the hands of the beaters of greater degree. The three groups to be considered are E, R, Sun, the elementals of densest matter, the elementals of liquid matter, the elementals of precious matter. We must bear in mind as we study these three groups that we are not concerned with the transmitters, but with the manipulators and with the recipients of energy. The elemental of densest matter. These are the workers and builders which are concerned with the tangible and objective part of all manifestation. In their totality, they literally form that which can be touched, seen, and contacted physically by man. In considering these matters, we must never dissociate the various groups in our minds in a too literal sense, for they all interpenetrate and when, in the same manner as man's physical body is compounded of dense, liquid, precious, and aseric matter. Diversity Producing a unity is everywhere to be seen. This fact must constantly be born. T H O U G H T A N D F I R E L E M E N T A L S 八百九十一 In mind by the occult student when studying the subhuman forms of existence. There is a distinct danger in all tabulations, for they tend to the forming of hard and fast divisions, whereas unity pervades all. Among the manipulating demons of the lowest level of the dense physical plane are to be found certain subterranean forms of existence, of which hints are to be found in the ancient and occult books. There is to be found in the very bowels of the earth an evolution of a peculiar nature with a close resemblance to the human. They have bodies of a peculiarly gross kind, which might be regarded as distinctly physical as we understand the term. Later in settlements, or groups, under a form of government suited to their needs in the central place several miles below the crust of the earth. Their work is closely connected with the mineral kingdom, and the admixtions of the central fires are under their control. Their bodies are constituted so as to stand much pressure, and they are not dependent upon as free circulation of their as many, nor do they resent the great heat to be found in the Earth's interior. Little can here be communicated amongst these existences. For they are connected with the lesser vital portions of the physical body of the planetary locus, finding their microcosmic correspondence in the feet and legs of a man. They are one of the factors which make possible the revolutionary progressive activity of a planet. 
like this, there are several other groups of non-class entities whose place in the scheme of things can only be described as having relation to the grosser planetary functions. They can be stained by enlarging upon these lives and their work. It is not possible for men in any way to contact them, nor would it be desirable. When they can pursue their evolutionary cycle, they will take their place in a later cycle in the ranks of certain demon bodies that are related to the animal kingdom. Bajo are a triatized non-cosmic fire. It is commonly supposed that all the fairies, gnomes, elves, and that nature spirits are to be found solely in a seric matter. But this is not so. They are to be found in bodies of precious and liquid substance likewise. But the mistake has a reason for the reason that the basis of all that which can be objectively seen is the seric structure, and this little busy lives frequently protect their Order 2. The phrase sources of ignorance is another matter. Ignorance is something negative, it is the absence of knowledge. But how on earth can the absence of anything have sources one this question was put to me by a friend when I confided to him the title I had chosen for this lecture. I was a little shaken by this for I had been, I confess, quite pleased with the title. Hard pressed for a reply I found myself improvising a rationalization, and explaining to my friend that the curious linguistic effect of the title was actually intended. I told him that I hoped to direct attention, through the phrasing of this title, to a number of historically important although unrecorded philosophical no, doctrines to the conspiracy theory of power interprets ignorance not as a mere lack of knowledge but as a part of some mischievous power the source of impure and evil influences which pervert and poison our minds and instill in us the habit of resistance to knowledge I am not quite sure whether this explanation allayed my friend's misjudgments but it did silence him your case is different since you are silenced by the rule Students must at this juncture remember that all dense physical forms, whether of a tree, an animal, a mineral, a drop of water, or a precious stone, are in the same state that Acting under the direction of intelligent architects, it may immediately become apparent why it is not possible in any way to tabulate in connection with this particular lowest group. A beautiful diamond.
fictitious substance formless lines which are linked to all fiery essences the inverted and the result of the seric matter on the lowest orders of the devils on the ethers. This major triplicity, when in conjunction, produces that which we breathe, and that in which we live and move and can our being. To the thoughtful student, there is full of symbology. For it is a synthesis, and that which bridges the higher and the lower sphere of manifestation. We must center our attention first upon those lives which constitute the sum total of all that is watery, and liquid swap manifestation. And in dealing with this, we must remember that we are concerned with the most total investigations and with matters which are very closely connected with man's evolution. The many groups of the water demos of the manipulative just have been roughly grouped by. Mythological writers, under the term Mondays, Mermaids, and other, Ali S. D. Section S. Volume I. 424. 四百三十五 T H O G T N T F R E N T N T A L S 